Hi everyone, uh, my name is Victoria Diel and uh, I'm part of Tonic Studios design team and I'm here to share with you kit 39 today and it's called Pretty Peonies. So let's take a look inside and see what the contents are. So it comes to you in this beautiful package box and I shall take all the contents out for you to take a look. There we go. And we'll put that to one side. So you know it's going to come to you well packaged in this lovely box. I'm going to start with the papers. So we've got a speciality A4 handcrafted cotton paper. And that's 150 GSM in the ivory bouquet. And you can see it's got that beautiful floral pattern in there. You can turn the card, well, the paper over, and you can spritz and ink and mousse this side if you wanted a different colour, but you still wanted that pattern. And you've got a beautiful deboss pattern in that side. So that's your ivory. Then we've got another hand crafted cotton paper in the pink petals. So again, you've got that beautiful floral design there. And again, you can use the reverse if you want to, if you want to change the colour of the paper. Then we've got the speciality card, which is 230 GSM and it's called Champagne Harlequin. And you can see that gorgeous Harlequin pattern there. Again, you could ink the other side if you wanted to. There's a slight pattern through there, but it's a smoother side. Then we're going to go over to the pearlescent card. Also, all this card stuck in the kit is A4. And this is the diffused violet. And this is double-sided pearl, and it's a 250 GSM card. Then we have a sheet of the Craft Perfect Ivory White, which is 216 GSM, and it has a slight weave texture to the card. The other side is slightly smoother. Then we've got Craft Perfect Avocado Green, which again is a 216 GSM with the slight weave texture. And then again, the other side is more of a, a smoother side. And then we've got this beautiful Miri card in Burnished Rose, one of my favourites. And this is 250 GSM and it's the Satin Miri card. And then the last piece is also Miri card and the Satin Sheen. And this is 250 GSM and it's Flourishing Green. So it's a beautiful green there. Really nice. So that's your cardstock. So after the cardstock, also in your kit this month, is a pack of US A6 ivory white card blanks with envelopes. And they're going to be really useful for us all to use. Also in the kit, we have the pink tutu sequins. And uh, they're just so, so pretty. You've got different sizes in there. And they're really, really nice. We've also got a sparkle spray and this is called Strawberry Ice. So I'm hoping to get to play with this in the set. We've also got a crystal drop and it's called Olive Branch. So that's a really nice green there. Then we have a little pot here of the Crackle Mousse. And that's a really, really pretty colour. That's called Pink Gin. So that would be nice. And then there's also a Peppermint Green uh, Glitter Marker in your set. So we'll move on to the die sets. And of course, as always, it comes in your brown wallet. And we open that up. And you've got your sticker there. Take time to make your soul happy. So that's beautiful. And we'll take these guys out for you to look at. So here we have the peonies and then we have a rose here and I think that's also another peony. Um, I think you've got a daisy and a peony and a rose in this one. You have the outer edge dies to cut the outer edges out. And then on this one, obviously, you've got one there to cut this outer edge out. And this one for here. You've also got a With Love Sentiment, which has an outer edge die here to cut it. 
and then you have this beautiful tag which also has the the outer element here to cut it out and then a little tiny butterfly now as you will see move those out the way you have a beautiful stamp and it says thinking of you with some roses at the bottom now that obviously fits into this tag die here as well then you also have some square um, sentiments thank you and on your wedding day and they will also fit within this die here to cut out then you have a beautiful corner stamp which I think there'll be many things you can do with that and then we have a banner stamp on your birthday and I think this is just beautiful so I think that's a really really pretty set and I think you're going to really enjoy play with this kit so so pretty so let's go ahead and make something so here we've got a card blank that is in your kit which is the A6 card blank and we've cut a mat with the beautiful rose satin cardstock obviously that's going to be a layer here and then we've done a layer with the Craft Perfect Ivory White, the, the light, light cream. And we have die cut um, into the bottom here, just using the inner part of the die. So if I find out which die it is, this is the one. I've just placed this down, making sure I've got enough room around the edge here to put some foam tape because we're going to turn this into a shaker card so just die cut that into there and I've gone ahead and I've cut a piece of acetate now this could be acetate from your packaging where your dies come um, I often use that because um, I'm always using lots of acetate so yep just use that plastic sheet that's in the front of your packaging if you don't use your packaging um, to store your dies and we're just going to turn this over and as you'll see there's red liner tape on one side so we'll remove that I've just gone ahead of time with a few little bits because you don't want to be waiting and waiting for me to make this card so I'm going to place this right down to the bottom and as you'll see it goes all the way around the design so that you know you're not going to see the foam from the other side and I've placed some foam pads just to the top here just to level it out because obviously once it goes on the layer um, it could be a bit wobbly you know so that's that so let's go to our card right so that's going to go on here like that so we're going to put a sprinkling of your pink tutu sequins just gauge how many you're going to need some people like them really full some people like them so they do actually move up and down and so I think that's enough there and then I'm going to take the foam pad backing off so we'll take that off there I've put a little piece here just because I had a slight gap and obviously you don't want your sequins to or glitter if you use glitter um, to escape so remove all the backings off there we go and then obviously what you're going to do is you're going to shimmy shimmy we're going to move some of these bits down there we go and then obviously line up so that you've got that fine border around the edge Go. and then go around all the edges of your foam tape 
to make sure it's well and truly stuck down. And there you have your shaker. Now if you get a few bits stuck, just keep shaking it and they'll all work themselves, they'll work themselves loose there. Apologies if the camera goes a bit wobbly there with me shaking. So now this is ready to be placed onto the card. So again, I'm going to use um, foam pads just to add a little bit of depth. I do like, I'm not a fan of flat cards. I really do like a bit of depth on my card. I think it just adds a bit of interest, but obviously for posting purposes these days, a lot of cards do have to go flat. We pay a lot for our postage here in the UK. Right, so place that onto your card with a fine border. There we go. And now we're going to decorate. So I've cut the with love here and we're going to place this onto the satin card. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my hand as I normally do. Not too much because you don't want it to seep out onto your satin card because it will mark it. There we go. There we go. And then because I want to elongate the mirror around the edge, I've cut another one and cut it in half. Okay, so I'm just going to add some adhesive to there and I'm going to just have it so that it just hangs over the edge a little bit. So I want it to sit off this cream layer, you see, so it just disappears otherwise. So we'll add a little bit more glue to there and again we'll make sure we've got a fine border to the bottom. Make sure that's grabbed. It does take a minute to grab on the satin card. We'll wipe that excess glue off. There we go. And we're going to put a foam pad on the back of there as well. Okay. And then what we've done, let's move this debris out of the way and then I can show you the set. Right. There we go. Being a mucky pup as usual. Now, in your other sets, you've got these lovely leaves, really big leaves. And what I've done is I've just placed this part of the die onto an edge of the satin card and just cut out uh, the leaves um, because that's all I'm after is the leaves. So I'm going to place one around about here, one about here, and then this sentiment then is going to be placed just over the top. So again, I'm going to place some wet adhesive on the back of my hand. Obviously, if you can't put glue on your own skin, because obviously we all have allergies, you could use a clear bag um, on your work surface and wrap it around the edge of your glass mat, like a poly bag, and put some glue on your poly bag and then pick up the glue off the poly bag. Um, I know not everybody can can put the glue on the hand so it's to just an estimate of where I want it to be and then this here will sit proud so then when you've got this nice gold layer it then sh pops off the card otherwise it would have disappeared with it being ivory and then we're just going to place the sentiment there and you could go in and paper piece these pieces if you like I'm going to keep this to a two-tone card. Sometimes I like to use three, uh, but this one I am going to use two. Now when you set you have a little butterfly and we put this little chap just there and just hold it for a second till it's grabbed to the card. remove all this glue from my hands there we go and there you have a very quick but very elegant card 
and I think you could send that to anybody. And here I've made one earlier and I did it with the wedding sentiment. So that just shows you on your wedding day. And I think what we'll do is we've done it to the other one. We shall add a few little sequins on the outside. And all you want to do is place a tiny amount of glue. And then with your tweezers, pick up a little sequin. Just place him down. Once it dries, it will dry clear. And we'll add another little one. Come on. Oh, doesn't want to be picked up. There we go. Turn him the right way. Got a little one there. And a slightly bigger. Because you've got different sizes in this bottle as well. You've got a large, a medium and a small sequin. So I think we'll have a medium sequin just, just there. Do you have any more? I think we'll have one up here. And I think we'll go for uh, another medium. Or maybe large. We'll go for a large one. There we go. And just let that dry and it will dry clear. And there you have two very similar cards, but with completely different greetings on them. And I think that's a really pretty, elegant card with just two pieces of your cardstock in the kit. The rose gold and your ivory and one of the card blanks that's in your kit. So I'll put these to one side. This is another card that I've created. And, you know, it's using the card blank that's in your set again. And what we've done is done a matting layer. We've used that beautiful pink... Um, pearlescent card and the gorgeous harlequin and then what we've done is we've drawn a template from the envelope that's in your pack because obviously you get the cards and the envelopes and we've just drawn around the envelope flap just to get this shape um, in the in the rows and here we've die cut this beautiful rose and we've placed it onto a little piece of watercolour card if you've got watercolour card at home you only need a small amount glued that flat and then we've done a wash and what we've done is we've put this beautiful sparkle spray strawberry ice into a little dish some water I've actually got the peppermint cream butter marker. We've put some of that in the dish with some water. And then we've just lightly gone in with a wash and done a wash on the card. Um, we've, then we've gone in with the green and we've let it dry. And then we've gone on with a bit more green just to highlight it's a little bit darker in the centre because obviously the leaf isn't all one colour. And then we've let that dry and then we've placed another die cut onto the top um, to cover up any uh, bits where we've gone out of the lines. And then we've cut the base again in the dark green that's in the kit. And we've cut the die in half and we've just moved it out a little so we've got a slight border around the edge of that card there. And um, then we finished it off with the olive nouveau drops and here we've stamped the banner with the nouveau hybrid black ink and um, with this stamp here and then we've gone in again and we've colored the little rose and the leaf with your sparkle and your glitter pen and then that's a nice card that sits like so so that's another card that we created and then to finish off I've cut this, um, stamped this tag out, I've heat embossed it with some gold embossing powder and then using your pen, your, your brush I should say, and then picking up some of that green from the glitter pen, just going to colour in and because you've embossed it, it helps the colour 
stay in the lines. So if you're not uh, a confident colorist or you've not been coloring very long, this is a good way to make sure that your color stays in within the image um, and it doesn't bleed out. So we'll clean that off and then I'm going to pick up a little bit and you own, I mean there's far too much in here, that was just one spray, but you just need a little bit on your brush and then you're just going to fill in in between the lines and it will dry lighter so don't worry you can go in lighter and add more if you want to this is quite neat I've not done a wash with this one I'm just adding it as it is so that you guys can see it on the camera and it is as simple as that so we'll wash the brush out there we go, put this to one side and there you have a lovely tag. So I'm just going to heat set that off, there we go, just so we don't smudge it. There we go and then as in Blue Peter fashion we have a um, parcel that we've just wrapped in brown paper and we've wrapped some satin ribbon around it this is a tag that we've colored earlier very almost identical to this one and we've threaded some ribbon up through the top we've put some foam pads on the back and we're just going to press this down here and then put this heat gun on and add a little bow so we'll just make sure that that bow is all neat and tidy I think that tail is longer than the other so we'll just snip that there we go and then we want to put some hot glue on the reverse of the bow and then place that down on the parcel and I'm going to neaten off that tail there we go and there you have a beautiful gift for any occasion um, you can't go wrong with a bit of satin ribbon from your stash and some brown paper and I think that tag is so beautiful. I think I'm going to be using that quite a lot um, for my own crafting as well as for tonic. Um, so there we have um, like an envelope style card, a beautiful gift wrap present and then two cards that are very similar there. One with love and one on your wedding day. So... I hope that you like the projects that we've made this month and um, I just want to say thank you very much for uh, joining me today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It really makes a huge difference and it's really appreciated. You will find all the affiliated links for the products below in the descriptions and um, if I don't see you before Christmas, because I don't know when this is quite going out, I'd just like to wish you all a very happy and safe Christmas. And I will catch up with you all very soon. Thanks very much for joining me. Goodbye.